You're watching the bus stops here and the big story tonight have the twin states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana witnessed these twin images of what is beginning to look like police excess and police brutality. The questions are multiplying and dragging the governments of both states in controversy. One incident in which 20 laborers alleged to be working for sandalwood smugglers were shot, many of them in the face. Another in which five prisoners being ferried from the Warangal prison, all of whom were accused of terror links, appear to have been shot with their handcuffs on. In both of these cases, the state governments are standing behind their police force. But are both these encounters really murders in cold blood? To tackle some of the unanswered questions, we're joined now by a very special panel. Joining us from Hyderabad tonight is Asaduddin Oasi, Member of Parliament and Leader of the MIM. Also joining us from Hyderabad is Noel Swaranjit Sen. He's the former DGP of Andhra Pradesh, a very senior police officer. Joining us in the program tonight is K. Ramohan Rao, Andhra Pradesh special representative here in Delhi and joining us from Chennai today because several of the laborers who were killed uh, in Chetur are from Tamil Nadu is Nyani Sankaran, well-known journalist and activist. I will start uh, with you Mr. Oasi. Uh, do you believe that both of these incidents that are being called encounters raise more questions than they answer? Do we have enough information to suggest that these were not genuine encounters but murders in cold blood because we must be very careful to also incorporate the police point of view in this. Barkhad, I totally uh, agree with you that these are extrajudicial killings and they raise many, many questions which immediately require an independent inquiry hmm. because what has happened today, uh, yesterday is that you have strengthened those people who, are, who want the Muslim youth to lose confidence in hmm. the parliamentary system. Hmm. There are some fringe elements. Yes. And for example, if, I am ha if my right hand is handcuffed yes. and, 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 and that chain is tied to, my, uh, to the bus chair, yes. how is it possible for a man to use an SLR of 5 kg unless or until he is some sort of a John Rambo in a Bollywood movie hmm. or in a Rajnikanth movie that can never happen. You have under trial guidelines mm. which clearly say what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Mm. Six months ago, these people who were charged with grievous offences, their uh, his, his father, his the accused, have written a letter to courts saying that he fears threat to his life. Mm. On 6th of April, he makes a written uh, motion to the magistrate that please shift me to Hyderabad, which was supposed to be heard today. There are many questions. In what happened in Andhra Pradesh, Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu, during his tenure as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, yes. had more than hundreds of more than 110 encounters, and all of them were false. So I am not at all surprised that those 20 laborers who were also laborers but also belonging to the Dalit community, isn't it a fact that whenever you kill someone, either a Muslim is a some sort of a terrorist? But for God's sake, these people should learn lesson from what happened in 2611. We've shown to the whole world that Ajmal Kasab was given a fair trial. He was given all so the you're, uh, you're you know, saying illegal Kassab, avenues you're to saying, exhaust. You're saying, Asad, uh, that if uh, Ajmal Kasab can be given due process, why not these men? But the police, of course, Mr. Ovesi yes. is saying uh, that one of these men tried to grab the police officer's gun and that they had been released from one of the handcuffs because they wanted a, 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 a toilet break. If you see the main person who, are, who, they, who they claim was, uh, you know, who stopped for nature's call, yes. that photo itself speaks volumes about their plain lie. That, that, that fellow is tied, his right hand is in handcuff and is tied to a chair. How can he lift an SLR? What kind of, I mean, what kind of stories, I mean, if, 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 even if films are made on such stories, they will flop at the box office. You know, they don't want to... And because the trial was about to close in, in a month's time, the judgment was, was, to, be, was to be given. Yeah. Barkha, let me remind you that after Makkah Masjid bomb blast, subsequent firing took place, people died. I was the one shouting that these, this is unnecessary judicial kill, extrajudicial killing. But till now that inquiry commission has not seen the light of the day. Mm -hmm. There are so many police firings and killings of innocent Muslims and Dalits which never come out.
Okay. It's never come out. Let, that is the tragedy. Let me bring in Mr. Swaranjit Sen and then I'll get the political perspective from Mr. Ram Mohan Rao. Mr. Swaranjit Sen is somebody who has led operations like this. We appreciate that the police has sometimes just a split second to make a decision. But if the police makes a mistake, when the police makes a mistake, there has to be A, admission, B, apology, C, punishment. Even if the intentions were not malafide, if you look at both of these incidents, the pictures, and I want to bring up those, both of these twin images if we can uh, for just a moment. Both of these pictures, Swaranjit Sen, have a story to tell. One in which you see is five men, yes with terror links, but handcuffs. They have handcuffs. So how could they have grabbed a gun? Were they bumped off in retaliation for the four policemen that were killed uh, in encounters with the semi? Question one. In the other, you have burn injuries on some of the bodies. You now know that some of them were shot in the face. And you and there are questions as to whether they were even sandalwood forests in the vicinity of, of, of the area in which, in which these 20 laborers were killed. As a police officer, how do you see both these incidents? Well, whatever Mr. Asaduddin has said, he has said a lot and uh, most of it would be taken as correct. But let me tell you one thing, to draw a connection between Simi and what happened in Suryapet two days ago mm. and this incident yes. would not be correct at this juncture. Why not? There's Why not? nothing yet. No, not, not yet. I mean, how can you... That, that way you are saying that the police is against Muslims, which is not correct. We have very large population of Muslims who are in the, in the police department, very fine officers. So that, that would not be correct unless investigation shows otherwise. Okay. So that is something that I would like to say. And this uh, manner of, you know, it will only incite feelings which I would not like to entertain at all or encourage. Okay. So while, uh, yes, uh, the, the incident is not looking good at all, the second thing that Mrs., Mr. Asaduddin said was about the handcuff. Yes. He has failed to mention that in the same photograph you can also see a rifle. Now what happens in all such situations when people like this are being carried or escorted in a vehicle, yes. the tensions rise very high. The nerves are really taut. Of, uh, of the of the escort p uh, party, okay, because because these people will uh, you know let loose all kind of superlatives against the police. They'll provoke them, and all sorts of things will happen. Mm. Now, the police has been in this prima facie; they have been considerate to allow a break. Now, what happened in the meantime when these people were coming in? into the bus okay we really cannot so you're saying it's too judged. early to draw a conclusion i want mr Ovesi to That's briefly all. briefly respond i would not briefly like to justify to the... okay i understand yeah, you're saying I would we don't not know like to justify one way or the other yet okay but these are things which happen on ground mr Ovesi, are you being irresponsible you know, in not mentioning the rifle are you drawing an over generalization and suggesting the police is against muslims please respond briefly to mr Swe uh, mr swaranjit sen and then i'll get in mr Rama, uh, ramo rao no, uh, you, you know, if uh, I, I, I am really surprised that a retired DGP of the police says that there was a rifle. Sir, let us do an experiment, uh, you and me. Let us tie our hand, right hand with a handcuff and let us try to lift a rifle with that. I, I can assure you, even in a bus, we cannot lift a rifle. You know for a fact, if your statement is right, I know how guns are used, I am a licensed gun holder. How do you load our SLR with one hand? How can you load our SLR with one hand and how can you fire? And why is it, sir, that out of five people, not even one survives? Okay, okay. you could have neutralized that, that, that fellow who was creating a nuisance or whatever he wanted to do, if, you know, subject to what you're saying is right. Not even a single survivor. And, and right now, Barkha, those bodies are being washed in my constituency and the injuries are where? Please tell us where are the injuries. The injuries are in the neck. The injuries are in the chest. Hmm. Now, the, actually, are you trying to justify all Mr. these things? I, I, I am not counteracting what you said at all. I, I am not saying that he tried to load the SLR. In such situations, the SLR would be loaded. He, it could it happen can, that it cannot be loaded with one hand, sir. You know for a fact. 
No, you, no, you know no, for no, a fact no, no. that with you, one you, hand you, of your tide, you, how can you load an SLR with one hand? How can no, you no, fire you, an SLR you, you, which is nearly 5.5 kgs? If magazine is there, the half a kg weight is increased. Okay, one minute. No, no. Mr. Sam, Nobody one minute. Nobody is saying that. Mr. Nobody Sam, is saying that at all. Mr. Sam, one minute. Yeah. I think when uh, okay. uh, Asad Oweisi okay. describes the state of the bodies, I want to get Mr. Ram Mohan Rao in because even in the other incident which is being called an encounter by the Andhra police, the, uh, the state of the bodies is raising many questions. Mr. Ram Mohan Rao, seven of the bodies, if I'm, if I'm right, have been uh, show that the people were shot in the face. Uh, there are burn injuries that are not explained by the gunshots. They indicate torture. Uh, there are questions arising despite the CCTV footage released by the state where the state is claiming that there were hundreds of sandalwood smugglers or hundreds of laborers working for these smugglers. There are questions arising as to whether there were even sandalwood forests in the vicinity of the site where these killings have taken place. Uh, Mr. Rao, how do you, how do you rationalize or explain what has happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. After you, madam, this uh, smuggling, uh, sm smugglers, have been cutting down red sand sander since many years. Yes. After our government has come to power, we held extensive operations to curb smuggling activities. But why can't you thousand arrest them? Thousand people are held in jail. Why, why can't you arrest the smuggler? Th why do you have to kill them? Why can't you arrest no. the smugglers? No, no. I, I understand that you say no, they were no, armed no, with... Thousand, the, you, the, the, the police have said that they were armed with axes and knives. But why can't you arrest them? If the state believes that the police no, no, policemen were outnumbered, listen, listen. Were outnumbered by the laborers, I, why I, not release how many policemen there were? No, we don't know the numbers yet. No, no, no. Listen, listen, madam. Before that, you must know the history also. Thousand people are held in jail. More than 4,500 cases have been registered yes. and 6,000 vehicles were seized. It was not, not, it, it, it was not a target operation. Earlier also, earlier also, six very good officers, yes. they died. You know, why, one question we have to ask, everybody asking today. Yes. You know, why, why the people are, you know, midnight, in the thickly forest area, that you know, people no, are there. No, I am not saying they were not smugglers. The smugglers. M Mr. Mr. Rao, may, they must have been smugglers, just like the five men in the Barangal prison were men facing terror charges. The question is about due process. We are not saying that these are people without criminal or terror antecedents. The question is, why shoot them? Why not arrest them? In the case of the Chitur incident, Mr. Rao, why not arrest no. them? Why were no, they not no, arrested? The, they, they, no, 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 they started already, madam, you know, see, police routinely, they are doing combing, you know, their, you know, action. Their police are there. They found, you know, huge group. They okay. started attacking on police due to de deadly, you know, the okay, weapons and access okay, and, Rao. you know, Mr. Rao, skills. Okay, Nyani Sankaran, a quick comment from you. The state government of Andhra Pradesh has released CCTV footage. They say this footage shows that there were hundreds of smugglers. Can we just bring up the CCTV footage? Now, the footage doesn't actually establish the number of, of people there were, whether they were smugglers or laborers working for smugglers. Uh, Tamil Nadu, of course, has gone to war literally with Andhra Pradesh over this. Your comments, Nyani, and then I want to take it back to Asad. See, it's very, very obvious, prima facie, that in both the incidents, there's nothing but state terrorism. I would call it police terrorism. That's a big very phrase obvious. to use, Nyani. Are you saying it with responsibility? Yeah, it's a very big phrase. Why would you, why would you question I mean, very... the bona fides of, of the police? Why would you suggest they had malefide no, intentions? No, I'm questioning the bona fides because... Yes. I'm questioning the bona fides because right now two of your own panelists... Yes. ...who represent the police and the government and the politics... Yes. ...they are not able to explain any of the questions you have asked. See, they have not been able to explain in specific factor any of the questions you have asked already. The question is, why are there burn injuries on the faces? Yes. They are not able to explain. Yes. Why are they in a shrub forest and not in a sandalwood forest? They are not able to explain. Yes. And there is no sandalwood anywhere nearby. They are not able to explain. And they are not able to explain how a handcuffed man can lift an SLR uh, yes. rifle. They are not yes. able to explain. Yes. They are deviating and they are talking about other issues. My fellow panelists are talking about other issues. Let me get Asad back here. They are not answering this. 
Yeah, they're not answering the question. Mr. Look at the prime of his issue. Mr. Look Ovesi. at the prime of his issue. Mr. Ovesi, in both cases, there are, uh, there are explanations given by both the police forces. You know, uh, with the Varangal prisoners, they're saying these are hardened uh, criminals. They have links to terror outfits. Why are you standing up for them instead of for the police? Mr. Ovesi, do you want to take that question? Barkha, let me make it very clear. I do not subscribe or support the ideology of Simi or those two fellows who have killed our four brave police officers. I have publicly gone on record and condemned the killings of those four brave police officers. I have paid homage to their sacrifice and we can never repay back to them. Important point to be remembered here is that those Two dreaded terrorists wanted after committing offences in Telangana and Andhra. Yes. What was our counterintelligence cell doing in Hyderabad? You talk about this encounter. These yes, these these boys were facing a very uh, you know strong IPC sections. And they were accused but of why, links to they were uh, accused uh, of links to terror groups and extremist groups, Asad. Barkha, if a month was given, the judgment would have come. And if the court would have decided on the evidence over there, and the court would have given whatever judgment was there. Okay. I, you know, do, do you mean to say that if they have links, they should not uh, face, the, they should not get a right to free, free trial? What about Article 21? Yeah. And why is it that, why, that because four, four policemen were killed, you have to kill five uh, Muslims over here? We so have condemned those Why fellows. are you making it we, about Muslims, Asad? You can just say five, uh, five people have been killed without due process. Why is the religion relevant? And then I'll get Mr. Swaranji to respond to that. Exactly. I, the religion becomes relevant because of, of what the government itself has said in its press note. They were uh, um, belonging to a militant Islam. Read the, read the press note given by all the police department. Okay, let me get Please Mr. read what they have said. Okay, Swaranjit, uh, uh, Nyani Sankaran calling this police terrorism. As a senior police officer, how do you respond? Well, I think uh, people do make all these sweeping statements without knowing the facts. Uh, there's something new the that facts? you're telling me that there were burn injuries, etc. I never knew about that. I, uh, yesterday I came on air and I told you exactly how it could have happened. Yes. Now I would like to place it on record that I have never been for these false encounters, I shall never be. And perhaps I am the only police chief who has registered a case against IPS officers who were suspected of such a conduct. So that is not, I would not justify any extra judicial action taken by police. Okay. I am just trying to explain what could have happened in the heat of the moment. Nobody can uh, can load an SLR uh, with one hand. Yeah. Okay. The SLR is already loaded. So okay. One person has perhaps jumped the other. I also do not rule out the fact that something else may have happened. I am only saying, let us not you're, jump to conclusions. You are saying we don't know and enough. Let us wait for the inquiry. Okay. You are saying we don't know enough. That's Last right. comments from all of you now. Nyani, is it fair for you to use a phrase like police terrorism when we do not know all the facts yet? I think that's uh, Swaranjit's uh, point. No, no. We, we already very clearly know the facts in the sense that all the dead people, the dead laborers, were not in the thick of sandalwood forest at all. And the so-called sandalwood lag was the red sanders law. We also know how many of these people are supported by politicians. And people like that. No, now then, why are these not politicians group? not we arrested? We also know how many are politicians are not arrested. Why are the officials not arrested? Even though, uh, why are these court the the officials not arrested? Okay. Is why are they not arrested? Now, why why only the liberals are cases? getting killed? Why are you singling out the police? And by the way, I would like to mention one thing, one thing important, and that is that the, this this uh, person Vikar Ahmed, he was he was be, he became more determined after the Makkah blast. And what happened in the Makkah blast? But Mr. It, Sen, everyone thought but Mr. it was Sen, the Muslims, but, but it was the Hindu fundamentalists which did but it. But Mr. Sen, the Makkah so who, blast. Who did it? But we it also the, arrested. The, the, uh, we also people, arrested innocent boys the for the Makkah blast. Different issues. Yes, Mr. that's Swaranjit right. Sen, and I spoke against that. Mr. Swaranjit said. I, I spoke against that on on okay. I think Andy TV itself. Okay. So okay. that is not it. Okay. I'm just saying let us not jump to conclusions too early. What okay. happened in the heat of moment, we have to know and that will come, 
come to be known through forensic reports okay. and the study of the scene, etc., and to, inquiry, etc. I, I have to end, Mr. Ramon Rao, 30 seconds to you and 30 seconds to Asad Oasi. Mr. Rao, uh, the victims' families are actually saying, quoting a, a, a village uh, a henchman or a headman, uh, that the people were picked up from a bus and then taken to this yes. forest site in Ch Chitur. Can you go on record to say this did not happen? Because this is the allegation being made, that, that these labourers were picked up from a bus. This is a charge made by the families. No, Barkaji, you are only saying that it's allegation. See, the fact is, yes. fact is, it is not an intended incident. It just happened. See, neighbour villages, yes. all the districts, pamphlets distributed, we educated the people. Since nine months, we know we did propaganda in Tamil Nadu That's and Karnataka. That's a different point, sir. That's so a different we are point. Not the point is that this that is looking, issue. there are questions arising from the state of the bodies and not enough no, transparency by the no, government. Okay. Yes, I, 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 have to, I have to end. Questions I have to are end. coming. I, okay, answers are coming. We're waiting for them. Asad Oasi, quick, quick last word. Quick last word, please. Quick, la quick last word. Hashimpura victims, no justice. Malyana, no justice. Ishrat Jaha, no justice. All encounter killings, if a Dalit is a smuggler, should be killed. If a tribal is an exilite, should be killed. If a Muslim is facing grave terrorist charges under trial, don't wait for courts to give justice. No, no, but many, you many, become many, courts many, and justice many, many and take over. Many under trials are also uh, of other religions. I mean, it's not that, you know, that, that uh, Barka, atrocities and violations are only Barka, particular to Barka, one state. Barka, NCRB data, Barka NCRB data is there. I have mentioned all important cases in front of you. Yes. Please understand that uh, we are with the police, we are not against them. Okay. But that does not give them the right to bump off each and every one, wherein uh, you, you, you ensure uh, that Muslim youth lose confidence. Okay. Don't give an opportunity this, to those fringe elements. These, this needs another the Justice should be done immediately in this, this matter. This needs another in-depth debate. I'll have to leave it there. Yeah. I'm totally out of time. Yeah. Swaranjit Sen, Asad Oasi, Nyani no, Sankaran oh. and uh, K. Rama and Rao, thank you so much for joining us on the Buck Stops here. Those questions mounting and we will keep a close eye on this story as it evolves the investigations in both of these states but that's it on the buck stops here tonight thanks for watching